I'd like you all to take your seats. I um, I don't want you to think I'm bragging, but I uh, I do know a few famous people, and uh, one of them's here today, and he has agreed to introduce me for the second half of the show. So uh, I'm thrilled, and you'll all be thrilled. Okay? <laughs> Here he is. How are you all doing today? How are we doing today, people? Good. We're doing all right? Yep. That's good. Uh, in case you haven't uh, noticed, I know today I look a little different in person, but it's me, your president, your commander-in-chief, <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> Give it up for your president, people. That's good. Uh, I'm very honored to be here. Uh, Jerry and I met in, uh, what was it, LA? LA? Santa Monica, Jerry? And uh, struck me as a very interesting, uh, introspective, uh, enlightened, entertaining fella. And I gotta tell you, Jerry, after uh, just uh, consuming uh, the first half of the show, uh, watching Words and Pictures on Netflix, have you seen Words and Pictures yet, people? Great writing. Uh, did Michelle like that, by the way? Uh, Michelle did like it, actually. We, we were, uh, as we do, uh, lying, lying there choosing, you know, something to, something to watch. I told her, you know, I met this nice uh, writer down in L.A. named uh, Jerry, Jerry DePago. Uh, seemed like he had something to say. And uh, so we did a little search on Netflix, words and pictures came up, and we were uh, thoroughly thrilled. Uh, completely entertained. We don't uh, we don't see these kind of films enough, and we need more of them. We need more artists like Jerry. We need more writers like Jerry. Right? Isn't that right, people? So let's bring him back up here. The one and only Mr. Gerald Jerry DePego. The one and only people.